Betty Dotson would be 95 years old this month. Mm -hmm. We miss her. And I thought this month for our blog prompt, we would write about how Betty changed our lives because she changed all of our lives. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, she really did. And I'm excited about this month's uh, blog post because they're just so different. Um, and, and some of the women that wrote never met Betty. But yet she still had such a profound impact on their lives. Um, so we'll go through the one-liners and, and talk about their posts. First, there's Rachel. Uh, her one-liner is, she would never ask anyone to do something that she wouldn't do first. That's the first tenet of body sex. That's why if you've taken a workshop, you know, we greet you in the nude. And mm -hmm. Betty came up with this. She said, well, you know, it's not fair, <laughs> you know, and it separates us. If we say, I'm going to be clothed, you're going to be naked. You can come in and you're nude first. No, I bow my head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think that's why her work is so different. Mm -hmm. Because within that is what respect, generosity, right. kindness, right. compassion. Yes. And Rachel's post just so beautifully states how Betty led the way, like really right up until her death and in her death, Betty still led the way. Our next one liner is from Emily. And it just always every month I'm like, Emily, <laughs> I, I'm always excited to read what Emily wrote. And, and her post this month was not a disappointment. Her one liner Betty has helped me tend and locate that revolutionary within, the one who will not stand for a life without pleasure. You could not spend any time with Betty Dodson without feeling like you wanted to lift your hand in the air and fight the good fight. There's something about that she's so inspiring and she mm -hmm. inspired by living a life on her own terms. She was born in 1929. Mm -hmm. Came to New York alone in 1950 with 400 bucks in her pocket and made her own way. Yes. That just wasn't done back then. And so, yeah, there, it's just so simple. If we all just speak our truth, we inspire everyone around us. Yes, yes. And Emily never met Betty, but yet she still has such a strong connection to Betty. And it just shines through in, in her writing and and yeah, and, and the impact that Betty made on Emily's life. So yeah, that one's a great read. Um, Tosh is next. Her quote is, I was surprised that I enjoyed 40 minutes of unapologetic self-pleasure. Thanks to that almond oil. <laughs> Betty talked about almond oil, had gallons of it in her apartment. It's in her art with sketches of how to do stuff. We always would say, never touch a clitoris with a dry hand. Mm -hmm. And the most important sex product, first time, first one, was extra lubrication. And she preferred almond oil. Ah. And Tosh just so beautifully describes vulva massage with almond oil and, and what an impact that experience made on her entire sex life. So, you know, her, her post is almost like a how-to. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's very good. It's a worth the read. Next, we have Grace Oasis, and she is uh, our newest coach in training um, with body sex. And uh, her one-liner is, what is true is, I am a sexual being. I have a sophisticated sex organ designed specifically for my pleasure. This is something Betty said all the time. She really tried to hit that home. And I know when I'm working with clients, it's something I repeat with the caveat that was her line, but if we have a sex organ dedicated to pleasure, we are sexual. And she'd always say that we're sexual. I'm sexual. Mm -hmm. You're sexual. We're all sexual. Right, right, right. And Grace so beautifully breaks down. She's got such a relatable writing style. She just breaks down the lessons that she learned from Betty. Um, and yeah, hers is, is a very enjoyable read. Next, we have Rafaela, who is our body sex coach in Chile. Um, and what she wrote is absolutely beautiful. It's not a poem, but it's in very poetic language. So her one liner, liner is, she saw me and was the first person to use the word admiration towards me. I remember Rafaela in that circle 
and I'm welling up with tears. I remember Betty having that moment with her and her sharing that it was the first time she had ever been nude and felt safe and seen. Mm -hmm. And that's what Betty did. She saw everyone, especially women for who they were and admired them. You can't pretend that, Mm -hmm. you know, Betty loved women and she loved women as like, we're sisters. We're in this together. And then there's, there's my post. I really just kind of set like little paragraphs of memories of some personal interactions that I had with Betty. So my one liner is a sister needs our help said 87 year old Betty as she crawled on all fours across the circle and sat next to me. Oh, I can see it in my, in my mind. That was Betty. There isn't anything she would do. I mean, she's 87 years old and she's on all fours crawling over because she knew you were working through something. Right. And, and, and she could just feel that you were nervous. She just knew it. I mean, that's, that's the thing about Betty. And I was terrified, like, you know, watching her, I can still see in my mind's eyes watching, you know, and then sitting next to me, like, I didn't want to be singled out, you know, because we're in the circle. But yet it was profound. I mean, you know, our interaction changed my life. So simple, right? Mm -hmm. Seeing you, you're doing the breath of fire. She goes, wait, it's not working. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to put my hand on your stomach and you're going, oh no, please don't touch my stomach. That's the area of my body I can't love. Mm -hmm. In that moment, healed. What Betty did was unconditional acceptance. Mm -hmm. And she created a space of non-judgment, which I had never felt before until I was in a body sex circle. And she did that for everyone who came into her apartment. People would come over just for drinks or snacks or dinner, and they would say they had that feeling. So what she cycled that energy was, whoever you are, Mm -hmm. I see you and I receive you. And there is no judgment. You are Mm -hmm. who you are, and I'm going to meet you in the middle. It doesn't mean I agree. And it was just such a beautiful feeling. It was like sunlight on your skin. And what's interesting is I think that has to start with self-love. Yes, yes, yes. She had such a gift of like truly knowing herself and truly seeing others and not not feeling threatened by other people, right? So she could just, she could see your differences. She could see your similarities. She could see your pain. Um, And she celebrated and she healed and she connected. And Mm -hmm. it's really a wonderful way of perspective to go through your life. So it starts with self-love. I have to love myself, connect to myself, not judge myself. Mm -hmm. And then that flows into every relationship in our lives. And it's how I live my life. And it really is true happiness. So happy 95, Benny. We miss you. (laughs) But you're still, you're still in the game. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) 